If you're watching this on YouTube, I greatly fucking appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check out my other content. I'm sure you'd enjoy it. Let's watch some fucking Gordy. Gordy. This place will make or break you. Realize Fuck. the seriousness of this moment. We want to see like the echo. who can put perfection on a plate. Is there anyone? Be honest. That thinks. Wait, is it Graham, Joe, and uh, Gordon again? They are the next Master Chef. It began with home cooks from across America. What's up, Where are you from? Chicago, Maryland, Charlottesville, Virginia, 14th Street in Manhattan. All of them with I don't think we've seen this one. I'm going to be the next master chef. I am the next master no, chef. No, we haven't. I am the next master chef. No, I haven't seen Looking this one. Looking at America's next master chef. Master chef, here I come. Let's fucking go. Thousands upon thousands lined up with their very best on a plate. I know I can win this thing. Every one of them hungry for the coveted title of master chef. I need it! Ew. I would kick her out just for screaming at me like that. But to get it, they'll have to face three of the toughest figures in the culinary world. Like season 10. I mean, we watched the one where he got replaced. At 27, I became America's youngest four-star chef. Believe me, I know a thing or two about cooking and eating. <laughs> Why do they make him say that? Believe me, I know some things about cooking and eating. My name is Joe Bastianich. I own 24 of the best Italian restaurants in the world and three award-winning Italian God, man, fucking I'm going to tell you how it really is. And then there's me. I like Joe. Jersey. I've got over 12 a lot of people don't. With 12 Michelin stars, and there's nothing that I don't know about food. The competitors Damn. will it out in the well toughest done. of challenges until just one remains. Be the best or go home. They'll cater for critics of God, all shapes and sizes. It's raw inside. You're not eating this. Do you prefer the red team or the blue team? Ready? Yo, the hoe. They'll even feed Joe the Fox. judges' moms. Smile, mom. You're scaring all the contestants. Some will rise. Let's turn it on. But most will go down in flames. I would send you home now. And after weeks of blood. Are you giving up? Sweat. This is ambitious. And tears. Why aren't you cook like this all the time? Only one of them will win. But first... 100 home cooks will get the chance to 100 one damn that could change their lives forever just an elite fuck, few will win an apron and earn a spot in the next round and only the very best will be crowned america's next master chef oh there's something in my fucking eye i think i got it God I am. Looks like fucking blind. Thank you. Welcome to Master Chef. I'm Gordon Ramsay. God, I love Gordon. I'm Joe Bastiano. So attractive. And I'm Graham Elliott. Now, you're all here because you want to become the next Master Chef. Trust me. I feel like some of these people are NPCs. What up, D? You've got to do more. You have to become Welcome back, Caitlin. culinary perfection. There's a soldier there. It. Look at him. This is not Did just fatigues. about the money. At the end of this journey, one of you would have earned the title that money can't buy. And that's America's Next Master Chef. I don't think I'm a master streamer. Pizza rolls plus tater tots. You're making me so fucking listen, hungry. The restaurant business is democratic. If your food is bad, that's it. You hear that? It's democratic. That's Republicans. No more master shut. I'm kidding. People won't come back. We run 50 of the world's best restaurants. And if we Dude, I want to eat at one of Gordon's good, restaurants bad, so bad. Good night, Gabby. Right. I appreciate you hanging out and I appreciate the subs. Very, 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 very you fucking generous. Know what this is. Thank you. And sadly, you guys don't get Bye. one just for trying. You get one by impressing the Wait, have we seen guys. this one? by making a dish that's equal parts delicious, creative, and has a lot of skill. I'd be pissed if we've seen it and we watched this much of it. I think I recognize that one guy. Listen, it's clear. Nobody ever talks about the second best dish they've ever tasted. Remembers Lynn? And there's Is this it? No award. Is this it? For the second best chef anywhere. We've seen this one? Have we? I haven't seen this one. Be the best or go home. Is there anyone in this room now that thinks 
They are the next master chef. Those cocky bastards. Well, you're wrong. Only one of you are. Trust me. We'll be the ultimate judge of that. Good luck. To Maybe you. we haven't. I wish there was more nudity in Master Chef PBH. Here we have. Cast iron, baby! From the thousands who applied, 100 home cooks have been invited to Los Angeles. Oh shit, boy! To create a signature dish Papa worthy of a Master Chef apron. Former beauty queen Jennifer is the first to face the judges. Hopefully, they like spice. What the fuck is she wearing that hat? What 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 is this? Is she she's about all the fucking Peaky Blinders? Then you're just horny. So what? If he was like, all right, all the women leave the room. <laughs> yeah, no professionals. Women out of the kitchen. <laughs> Sexy master chef. More shirtless shots. Shirtless shots of Gordo. Because I'm spastic to begin with. So <laughs> my passion for <laughs> Jesus Christ. Am I right? Cooking came from She's from Wilmington. Oh, Wilmington, D. E. Defensive end. From the fact that my mother was. Isn't that Jordan P. Skill? I'm Quantavius Dingleberry, Texas A and M. You know what I'm talking about? Bitch, a peaky blind on the mouth. I'm sure I would remember Definitely that. Definitely the 15 minutes in the microwave. So I started to discover food on my own because I couldn't eat one more thing of Salisbury steak. <laughs> I describe myself yeah. kind of a boy with boobs that loves to wear high You hear that, Ben? A boy with boobs right up your alley. That's what Ben likes. He likes boys, you know, but with boobs. Heels and put makeup on. I'm a competitive person by nature. I won Miss Delaware, USA. I walked in a swimsuit on national television and five inch heels. That was so hard. <laughs> I bet that was crazy hard. I'm at the point in my life Bruh. where I need to follow exactly what I love. The wrong with that. Ain't, none, ain't not a damn thing wrong with it. You're right. <laughs> Don't let the blonde hair <laughs> and the nice smile and high heels fool you. Nice smile. Each home cook is given just five minutes nice to play up their dish. If two of the three judges think they have what it takes, they'll win a coveted Master Chef apron and move on to the next stage no, of no, the competition. No, 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 girls with dicks. Hello, gentlemen. Stop. How are you? Well, thank you. How are you? Stop, stop, I'm stop. Thank you very much. First name is? My name is Jenny. Jennifer, can you take your uh, granddad's hat off so I can see? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> it is my granddad's hat, actually. <laughs> is he? For what the fuck? I'm making a coconut curry lentil soup with some spicy shrimp. <laughs> I toasted up all the spices, put them to the side, and then I layer the flavors in slowly so that way we'd get a really good base for it. Put a little bit of tomato paste in the underlings to kind of give it that background. Sound like a so, like, yeah. Why is so she like talking so much? Curry, not just opening up the tub and. Yeah, it in, in there and oh, she's being smart. I was being an asshole. I thought she was saying some dumb shit, but he's, she's actually being smart. Oh. Made it from scratch. Great. You just okay. the cooking. Give me a little inside behind the sauce. What's in there? It doesn't look too bad to be a uh, turmeric, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of sriracha, like a tint of sriracha in there. Are they and then we have a, yes, they are a little bit of carrots in there. Carrots are weird. Mm. Have you ever been to India? I've not. Well, they don't put carrots with shrimp, that's for sure. Yeah, that's what I thought was strange. Why the carrot? Um, people in India, if you put your shrimps and carrots together, they literally execute you on site. They'll hang you. The government uh, banned carrots and curry fucking years ago. How dumb is this fucking bitch? She's so fucking insensitive to Indian culture. If I was Indian, I would kill her. You know what? Fucking dreadful. Carrots are good for your eyes, though. It doesn't matter, right? Help me. When I eat soup... I want some heartiness to it, and that's some okay. heartiness and meat into okay. it. He's like, he's, like, he's like, you fucking twat. He's like, he's like, he's like, drink bleach, bitch. I love Graham. Look how, look how happy he is just shrimp. to be here. You know, the fact that they melt in your mouth, there's a little bit of the spice that goes with them. Not everyone All else. that comes together, exactly. and it's something that I would like to eat a bowl of. So War knows, the, right, knows the, what's going on. Him cunt. <laughs> I do. I love Joe when he does this shit. Where he just looks at him, he's like, and he walks away, doesn't say anything. Graham, he's so just fucking the fact dramatic. That you made your own curry, and you knew the different steps of toasting off the spices, then adding your onion, some tomato product. You know how to cook, so I'd say yes. I want to see what else you can do. Let's go! Wow, you believe. You believe anything. I believe, huh? I do. Uh, Joe, yes or no? 
Damn! Look at this look. I'm Joe, yes or no? Damn, Joe! Bro, Joe mad as hell. What the fuck is this, Joe? I can do this, Joe. I think that it, Joe, the actual a bit excessive. of the dish bits of failure. I'm always excited. And I'm gonna vote no. No. Damn! Okay. The curry is not fantastic. Diabolical. The shrimps are delicious. Just to kill her. My worry with you is that you are almost playing at it as opposed no. to focusing at it. Absolutely not. I have it in me. I have it. Uh, I love Joe. I know I do. Oh. This is what I love to do. I love to cook. No, you don't. Prove it. Cook again. Give me this opportunity. I will prove it to you. I think you have a lot of determination. You get an apron. Step Damn. Bro, is Gordon a simp? Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Get serious. Absolutely. Yes. It's a very tough game. <sighs> eh, whatever. <laughs> I see they're just giving anyone aprons out as. Joe's a culinary Patrick like Bateman, and Patrick hurt, Bateman is based. Fake, and I think she fooled you both. Snob. Damn. Did you hear that? Content. Joe's like, I think she's a fake. I think she fooled you both. And already mega intense Gordon, bro. I love Joe. I've always loved Joe. He's been he's one of my favorites. I wouldn't let her in. She kissed Gordo. How do you feel? Listen, I don't give a fuck with bro. You think I'm threatened by this bitch? Come on now. I like hearty food and hardiness. What up, Gabby? Mission begins right now. You better wouldn't let her it. in. I'm gonna bring it on. And today I've been like, your food's good, but you're too fucking annoying. To be a master chef. Jennifer snags the first apron of the competition. But not everyone has the recipe for Master Chef success. Because I'm not time oriented, I'm always like in a la la land. Damn. I am cooking a fresh herb. This is not plus ratio plus my day. show. That looks terrible, bro. Are you kidding me, right now, bro? Bro, on God, bro. Um, um, kidding like me, right now. Or it could be a burrito. It could be a chicken pita or a burrito. When you do an IRL stream, I'm in real life right now. This I'm literally IRLing right now. I'm watching MasterChef in real life. I could make that exactly. Packed salmon with filling. A deviled egg with uh, beef tartare in it. Mm, and then I stuffed deviled salmon. Eggs. And uh, tuna tartare in the style of like a tuna salad sandwich. And I'm going to top that off with a nice bourbon cream sauce. Whatever you want, Vibe. That, well, I had a couple shots while I was cooking. I'm kind of freaked out before we even start. And going out. I told my husband, you know what? I think I'm a peacock and I need to fly. Peacocks don't fly the though. On the, or do they? The yolk, I'm not digging. I feel like I'm eating a tire. Disgusting. You're a lucky man that you haven't killed somebody. Damn. Raspberries, salmon, chipotle, grits. Damn. It's like you're wearing the wrong clothes and putting lipstick on your big toe. Oh, okay. For me, it's a no. Damn. <coughs> I need a water. <coughs> Dude, Joe's choking. <laughs> Because cooking, like, I can do better while I eat. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Gabby. They, they fly a little. They can a short distance. My laptop died. She didn't know what to say. So, why MasterChef? What do you think you bring to the competition? Um, mm -hmm. I can bring drive It's not energy. midnight. Good. Run down there, touch the MasterChef. It's not midnight. Off you go. Hurry up. I'm We're coming in. PJ, what? Bro, why did PJ spoil it? Bro, fuck PJ, bro. One, two, I miss the old PJ. Sprints, sprints. How are you feeling? Good. For me, it's a no. Damn, a made him run, do all that shit. Can a trucker turn things around with his unusual wow. Thank you, PJ. I live in Keel, Mississippi. Ton of weed sounds I good right now, for real. I'm an operator slash uh, commercial truck driver. I uh, will make a jambalaya with alligator and sausage. The closest thing that would taste like alligator. Alligator sausage? Hey, hey, get I want to prove to the nation that I. Where all. Bro, look at his teeth. He looks like he's wearing those Bubba redneck teeth. Cringe Jay? Yeah, no joke. I am the master chef. I'm approved. I am the master chef. Me. Katrina hit in 2005. I built a new house, not quite finished it. There is a lot of sleep for me. What does what's Katrina have to do with this? I'm here and ready. First name is? Albert. You're well camouflaged. I'm the redneck concoctioner. I had to be camouflaged. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Albert, start cooking, buddy. You got five minutes. Okay, chefs. 
I have prepared a triple tail gator. It's alligator three ways. Are you uh, an alligator three way? Mmm. Fan of alligator? Couldn't be me. Oh legs, well. Legs. I'm not scared of it. Well, cocoon, rattlesnake, bobcat. Bobcat? Children. A pipe with some rocks <laughs> has eyes right now. I like him. What don't you eat, Albert? Possum. <laughs> I draw the yeah. line at possum. Possum's gross. I draw the line at possum. What's that on your chest there? What is that? Oh, that is a, a, a tattoo of an eagle with a Harley Davidson banner on it. Uh, <laughs> it's a tattoo of an eagle with a Harley Davidson banner on it. <laughs> it's uh, my favorite tattoo. <laughs> Ooh, the pigs cook good as fuck. Alligator is good though. It tastes like chicken. Ooh. No, thank you. Three way alligator, of course, Lamo. I want on my butt. Would you like to see it? Yes, please. <laughs> we're gonna see this guy's ass? Hell yeah, brother. We're about to talk, we're about to eat food, and we're, this guy's gonna show us his ass. Fucking dead. <laughs> Not too close, just from a distance, just in case. You wanna see the devil? <laughs> There's the devil. Woo! I can't even see it. All right. He's Cajun. I love Cajun. I love Cajun people. Please but he's not gonna make it through. Before you continue playing that dish. <laughs> Aww. Now, is this something that you serve often for the family or for friends? Alligator. A certain time of the season, we will get it around home. You know. Do you live in the bush? Really? I live in the, in the woods. You can in say. A show. In make me so hungry. Oh no! Ah, no, sir. <laughs> Finished. It's done. Okay. That looks pretty good. Is this, nice. A sausage and alligator jambalaya with a fried alligator medallion on the side and a, a cubion. Doesn't look too bad. Cooking alligator is difficult. Incredibly lean, hardly any fats can deliver a really good flavor. Like you said, it is hard to cook alligator. That's probably the best alligator I've ever cooked in an hour. Damn. That looks pretty fucking good, dude. And I honestly wouldn't think it would be. Ah, oh, does it suck? Mm. I was hungry. Come on, redneck. Honestly, well, chat, let's listen to me. Wait, what? This is Joe's first time eating a reptile? I've eaten a reptile and an amphibian. Looks disappointed. He's not the first Cajun chef to not make it through, and he won't be the last. He's like, eh, smells like my mom. Um. For sure, turn Gordon off. Can I even eat this? I don't even know. I mean, reptiles are different from fish. I've only had I've only had a I've had alligator jerky one time. I've tried it. What's up? That dish resembles you a hundred percent. Ugly, nasty, fat. Get her a thing. Overgrown mess. I mean, never mind. I thought this was a joke. That when people smell their food for too long, like, I mean, or two smells it up. Well, I guess, like, on this show, it's a little different because they're, like, judging it more. But in real life, and when I, I don't know. When it, you guys get food in real life, like, you get, like, your food at a restaurant, you, like, mmm. You, like, sniff it, like, inspect it with your nose, like a dog or something, or you guys just, like, start eating. Delicious. It's the fucking delicious. Soulful, complex layers. The alligator. Let's go. So flavorful and it's it's really really great. You the food. Yeah, for real, Bruno. The flavor there. You have Same. Some I'm telling you, I am going to give it my okay. shot, and I will. Let's smell butter do chicken. Whatever it takes to become the next master chef. I'm a yes. <laughs> the butter chicken. Why are they ripping up like before comp? Exactly. Yeah, like, why are they? Look at. Oh, look at him, bro. Look at that smile. Ew. Look at that smile. Just imagine the smile with no teeth. But he's like, so cute. He's a cute old man. Just, you know, if we could just... I'm a yes. You know, get him through the teeth. The Cajun You're guy through. Bro. You're a yes, man. All right. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. See you later, alligator. Yeah. You got it. Oh, uh, good one, Gordo. Okay. Bro, I'm so glad Gordon used that. Cute old man trying to cook, dude. I'm so I'm so glad Gordon used that pun. Hey, perfect timing. Those pants up. <laughs> perfect opportunity. Did you say so? <laughs> you got it. Darn. Albert Dundee. Holy crap! Yeah! Let's go. I think it's the first time he's been down from the tree in a year. Hey! 
Out of the bush comes the dish of the day. Yeah. I swear to God. That looks pretty fucking good. My addiction was wrong. Can we celebrate? Yes, celebrate. Oh shit! All right, chat. It's Cloud's birthday. Thank you, PJ. All right, everyone, get ready. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cloud. Happy birthday to you. Boom! Happy birthday, everyone. Say happy birthday, Cloud. Woo! Let's go. Let's go, Cloud. Chad, it's Cloud's birthday. She's 50. I'm kidding, bro. Cloud, happy fucking birthday, dude. For real. We love you. We appreciate you. It's your birthday. You can now get drunk. Let's go. Yes, everyone take a shot for Cloud. Take a take take whatever your drug of choices. Take whatever your drink of choices. Do do whatever. Pop off. We love you, Cloud. Happy fucking birthday, everyone. Dude. Let's go. And it's going to be in the YouTube video. So now, YouTube, type in the comments, happy birthday, Cloud. Seriously, Cloud, happy birthday. We fucking love you. You like it is, and he's not going to Nailed it. Nailed it. Huh. Nailed it. his butt off for an apron, while those who follow quickly go down in flames. Ew. Completely dry, overcooked, and unedible. Oops. Oh. Definitely no. No. I'm sorry. Dehydrated dog's turd. Look at it. Dehydrated After dog's turd. Of disastrous dishes. Can a Boston firefighter smoke the Boston. My name is Mike. I'm from Milton, Massachusetts, and I'm a fire department lieutenant. They're in surprise. A typical day in the firehouse. You did it first, but. From one extreme to the other. Cooking in the firehouse just takes me away from that. Oh. If you take any longer, I'm going to eat a hot dog off the back of your neck. <laughs> that looks really so good, bro. To be able to take some raw ingredients right now. and turn them into a wonderful, hearty meal for the guys. That's good stuff. You feel good. Lovely wife Christine and three boys. Oh, he cooks for the boys. The hey, yo, the I'm Milton. <laughs> I've reached. Is that sus to cook for the boys? Make sure all your boys are well fed, have a, a food, uh, stomach, tummy full of good food. One dream in my professional career, but I'm ready to take on the next chapter of my life and win Master Chef. Cheers. Good, afternoon, gentlemen. good to see you. Hi. First name is? Uh, my name is Mike. Mike. Yes, sir. What are you cooking? Uh, today, I've prepared a uh, pan-seared, panko-crusted halibut, served atop a wild mushroom uh, risotto with uh, prosciutto, some steamed lobster okay. tail, and finished it with a lobster Newberg strafe. Oh. I can't think of a worse person to cook a risotto in front of than Joe. Damn. Oh, no pressure. Yeah, no For pressure. the streets. But they were all boys. Okay. I felt like a mom. Damn, slightly burnt that side. Uh, I figured I'd show the better side. If scamming person, them. I didn't expect to burn anything. It was you? Let me tell you that. Why are they being so hard on him? I think the risotto is really yummy. What do you have kind of strewn throughout? Uh, some prosciutto, some chanterelle mushrooms, and some bluefoot mushrooms. Okay, I think it works Ugh. really well. I like the prosciutto. Fuck a mushroom, I bro. I did not fuck with mushrooms. <laughs> the sniffing, bro. He sniffs it so hard. Red Sox. <laughs> Damn, he fucked Sorry. up. You gotta stay true. Joe, yes or no? It's not working. Good one, Ren. No. Mr. I Clean. No. Damn. Right. Yes no? He got a no from the Italian guy. That's bad. I think there's enough positives within the risotto and the sauce work and things like that that uh, I'll give it a yes. I want to see what else you have. Thank you. What do you got, Gord? So frustrating. Honestly, I could. I could Uncle scream. Fester. Yeah. I'm good learner. I've been learning my entire life. I'm willing to learn if I've given an opportunity. Let's go. Okay, give him a chance. I'm sorry. It's a no. Ah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oof. Thank you. I forgot Continue. how bad some of these hurt when they say no. Okay. Please. Dumb. That blows. We tried. We tried. Take the halibut off. Yeah. And if you serve the risotto with a lobster, 
Damn. How in the hell can a firefighter burn a Hannibal? Wait, is he going back out there? I know you were. At least we get to go home now. Mike, yes. listen to me. If you... Oh, shit. Wait. Cooking, Wait. Told you. Next Wait. And really perfect and cook for these guys here. I'll guarantee you a place this time next year. Don't stop cooking. Oh, well, that blows. He's like, yeah, you still fucking suck, but better luck next year. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. High five. Damn. Okay. Am I from Massachusetts from the streets? Why, why do you hate Massachusetts so much, PJ? I may be back. What we'll happened see. to you, Massachusetts? Sheriff Ramsey, my dad is going to be back next year. And he's going to kill you, Chef Ramsey. You're dead. You hear me? You're a dead man. He's got a spot no matter what, though. True. Ooh. Did he come back? I don't even know if he came back next season. Coming up. Is this your dish? One home cook serves his dish in the most shocking manner ever. This is not the kind of place I want to find a hair in my food. Delicious. Ooh. You're dead, man. I can't. That looked interesting. I would love to eat sushi off a of fine woman. Any volunteers? Any fine ladies in chat that want me to eat sushi off of them? I have friends from Massachusetts, but we, he was almost beaten to death. God, I am. The northern part, though. I think I'm the bad in the kitchen. Just can't help herself. I want that apron so bad. Give it to me right now. God damn. Give it to me, please. That's insane. So far, that's wild. Talented home cooks have won a Master Chef apron. And moved on to the next stage of the competition. Begging. Next up, Carol, get up. It's the Monica begging Chung for me. Yeah. Her Korean dish That's the little embarrassing. Bit as perfect as her piano playing. Cooking is a lot like performing or giving a concert. There are never Cooking's any limits. Cooking is a lot like I never uh, oral. have a recipe. I just go by taste and how I feel. <laughs> I am my own worst. Even news week. Oh a volunteer's God, tribute. <laughs> Caitlin. There's never an end to the learning funny. process. There's always something to improve. I will definitely be cooking for as long as I live. She's cute. How are you? Fantastic. Not what cooking you though. A traditional Korean dish called bibimbap. Ooh, I love bibimbap. Mix and pop rice. So you mix it all together and you're good to go. I know you're trying to say, Caitlin. Don't worry. Everything has. He was like a hothead. Don't so use tea. In the ass dish to cook. The flavors are. Um, oh. Really unique. That's what you mean. Fuck elves. Why am I so dumb Big sometimes? Mars. Normally it should be a little touch hotter. I went easy on the hot sauce. This is the Korean spinach? Yes, it is. It looks really nice. good. A lot of throat. Joe, yes or no? I think the dish Beaches. is. Really great. Let's go. Big. Yes. Graham, yes or no? Seven different components on that plate, and each one Beep, was done bo, right. Be bop. Did I say it wrong? Yes. For me, it's a yes. Congratulations. Oh <laughs> smash. Thank you guys. Wood smash. <laughs> Wait, is that? So Monica takes home the Wait a minute. Of the day. She looks familiar. But Maybe. can her competition also hit the high notes? My name is Aaron. Kayla. My name's Elin. What are you cooking? Grilled eggplant with some chorizo and goat cheese. Shrimp grilled eggplant planta. i don't know Lame i didn't honestly i can't ever eat eggplant after it became the cock emoji korean outside of barbecue is good but you have to be open-minded i love korean food i felt like thinking of christine yes Do. this is me on a plate this is me on a plate this is a big plate of baked beans hard to get those textures correct i think the flavors work really well i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna say yes yes you're staying to the next round. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> it was weak. Okay, love. That was incredible. The standard has raised. Yeah. Compared to last year, this is night and day. That is exciting food. This is some talented cooks. They've gone Dude, to I'm a so fucking level. hungry. I'm you have no idea. The bar is raised. important message for you all we've given out quite a few aprons and we don't do that lightly let me tell you that a word of advice get your head in the game already the damn gordon's putting the pressure there. on him 
The difference now could be that tiny grain of salt. And that would mean getting an apron or getting out a plate with this sucks. Yeah, Who's that makes next? when people are like my great great grandma made this dish and it means the world to my family and she would just, you know, make her so happy in her grave if you like this and Gordon's like it tastes like us or he'd say arse, but raise your game. You got one chance. Good luck. She's in there cooking her meal and Gordon comes in just putting tons of pressure on her unlike all the other people. Nope. My name's Tracy. I'm 32 years old, and I am in sales. I live for the food that I cook. Tracy. Stay back. I've always wanted to be a chef, and unfortunately, I never took that career path. Damn. I'm just really like everyone in America who's had a dream. <laughs> it's like every other person in America. The boomer. It's the longest walk of my life. Damn, it really is kind of a, a long walk. Okay, and what are you going to be cooking? I have made for you today a wild mushroom crispy risotto cake with a truffled egg. Risotto cake? And just some nice upland crisps and some chives on the side topped with parmesan cheese. Perfect. So tell her, what does food mean in your life? I grew up in an Italian household. My grandmother taught me how to cook. I feel like she's going to get so through. I feel like she's going to look at, look at fucking Joe's face. He's like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> he looks so stupid. But, um... I feel like she's gonna get through because the ones where they like build up more backstory and stuff, like uh, they always go through. Growing up, loving Joe's and learning love. how to cook. He's in love. It's my life. It's really what I'm meant to be doing. But if you grew up with that love of food, right? Why the hell didn't you pursue it? Because you have to be strong enough at a young age to get into it and pursue it. Determined. Determined, and I was determined. So you're weak, obviously. I'm not. Damn. Weak at all, actually, I am. Very, very what is Gordon doing here? Why is he like, he's like, why didn't you do this same now, you stupid bitch? Very strong. I'm gonna cook you the best dish I can possibly cook. His Get face an apron. Looks high. And damn it, I'm gonna win this competition. Let's go! The opportunity of a lifetime. Damn it! What is that? What is that? What is that? This here, it's just some white truffle oil. White truffle oil? Yes. Trying to rip her up. Imagine getting high for this show and bring a judge, everyone with an apron. Oh, dude, I, I would honestly love to be on this show. They should put me on there. I'm st I'm always stoned, so I, I'd be perfect for it. But white truffle oil, she just threw. That's an L. Most pungent, ridiculous ingredients. Never used truffle ever oil. Ever known to chef. The sure sign of someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Do you know that truffle oils are made by perfumists and have no white truffles in them? But it's it's good. But it's good. I can't believe you've just done that. I think you've just uh, put your apron up in flames. Let me tell you that. Oh shit! She's like, try it anyways. Generally, if you go to a restaurant and you see truffle oil on the menu, it's a good reason to run away. I can smell it from here. It stinks. Okay. What? Why would she do that? You clearly love styling plates because that means nothing. It's a pile of grass. Damn! They're going fucking ham on her, Loki. Look good. It looks like a chicken patty with the egg on top. The rice cake is delicious. The egg got that richness to it, but the whole thing is knocked out. Sadly, with that over pungent, dreadful flavor of damn yolk like truffle. Oil. Great potential. Truffle is like a mushroom, Delicious. right? Damn. Oh no. She just How threw. I'm hanging in there. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Dude, Graham is so sweet. I love Graham. I mean, Parmesan and egg and risotto, they're, they're really delicious. But that truffle oil, it really takes over that dish. Yeah, what the fuck? Who threw in real life? But this is what this is what p is selling looks like. Yeah, truffles are super expensive. Yeah, don't, don't people like go out and hunt for them like all day and like sell them? Of like like a job, truffle hunters. Such a mistake. I know. We'll that, that is that just crap. a mistake. Big mistake. Damn, that's so that's sad. Damn, she's like Loki begging. Ugh, ugh, Chad, you think she should get through? You think we should, uh, you know, she didn't use the truffle oil, wouldn't be that bad. What, what are we thinking here? 
I'm going to be really honest. Stripped with all the pretentious crap removed. Is it for me? Oh, <laughs> no, butter, butter. Master Chef is about finding that unique. Like how, palette. how dare she add truffle oil? Even though I barely eat truffles or know what truffle oil smells. I know, I know it smells like shit. And the only reason that I know it smells and tastes like shit is from watching other seasons of Master Chef and Kitchen Nightmares. That's the only reason. That's something magical. You're putting chives on the plate, like crisscrossing and making silly little pictures, and then silly truffle little oil, pictures. Trendy and, you know, we fire chefs I don't know. in our kitchens for using that crap. I'm going to be really honest. Is it for me? No. Damn. Graham, yes or no? Can you learn from your mistakes? Absolutely. I know I can learn from my mistakes. Yes or no? <laughs> Damn, Graham. Come on. I'll give you a chance. Thank you so much. Graham is such so a much. sweetheart, bro. It's all to Joe. Joe? Drink, at least to me. Does Joe, does Joe give in? Come over here, come on. She's, he's like, Joe's like, turn around for me, let me see that ass first. Graham being nice. Graham's always nice. Twice. This means the world to me. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to. Um... He's in love. He is. He let, bro, if he lets her through, he acts as a crush on this lady. Keep cooking. <laughs> what? Don't let me down. It's like they're breaking up. I what? Oh, thank you so much. And she I got through. Screw it up. I promise. Damn. Give it a shot. We'll see what happens. The he loves her. Tasted delicious. Yeah, it was very good. There's no two ways about it. Very, very good. Did they go back for seconds? So Joe's making Ralph's her grovel. I can. List. Joe's like fetish. Joe's kink is seeing people grovel. Love of Joe surpasses all the while. But the judges still have nuts. This fucking gets fruit off to it. On their fruit cakes. That's homophobic. How are you feeling? Because they're both Italian. Like but they're both Italian. Mamma mia. I have just one shot to prove what I got. Make it all natural. Oh, why? Moms who thinks it's like quirky because like their little church group are like you made a Christian rap That's so silly a white lady rapping and they just like think it's quirky to go on these shows and rap like these like silly stupid fucking raps No, it's not rapping right now. That's a white lady this fall. You're on the wrong show <laughs> Should that be a little bit more cooked? I hope it doesn't ruin my chances for an apron. What do you mean? <laughs> Should that be a little bit more cooked? Ew! What? What is this organism? What is this piece of flesh? I hope it doesn't ruin. I hope it doesn't ruin my chances of getting an apron. I really want an apron. <laughs> my chances for an apron. An apron, guys! Give me my fucking apron. For me, it's a no. <laughs> Straight down there's a big M on the door. Sorry, no. Bust a move that way. It's supposed to be Joe, salmon. Definitely no. I'm going to go the opposite direction. I thought the flavor was there. I thought there was creativity. What? I think it's good, so I'll say yes. Really? What does it mean? There's a raw piece of fucking you, meat in there. It means everything. I can do this. I need to do this. The fuck? I'll, I'll crawl. I'll beg. That's Mike how bad I want Wazowski. That. I need that apron. I need this. Please. Oh, please. shit. She's I on her knees. apron so bad. Give it to me right now. Oh, my God. Please, give this is so sad. This makes me feel uncomfortable. Give it to me. Get off the floor. Give it to me, Gordon. Please be for real. I'll take Pick my L. It's a yes from me. Oh hey, God. chat, it worked. It worked, though. So what can we really say now, if it works? Focus. Put all that energy, determination into that next dish. Yes, sir. Thank huh? you. You're going to lose that bet, Gordon. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> Look at her run. I'm feeling so good. I can just run the hall screaming naked. Yes. Do it. You won't do it. Bet. Oh yeah, for Christian sure. Cloud from Las Vegas Begging is King. about to make a naked play for the judge's approval. A naked. Is he getting everyone drunk? Let's go. Muscle tall. Like a husband-wife duo. Going no, on. not at all. This is my uh, special treat. I have been looking forward to serving this for you guys for a while. You're kidding me. 
Are you competing for a master chef? With is this your dish? Yes, it is my dish. I like this. Is Are he butt serious? naked? Body sushi. I. He spilled the soy sauce. You just pulled soy sauce over your lady's tummy, and it's dripping everywhere. Okay, my question is, who goes first? Maybe all three at the same time. Let's go. All three at the same time? You finna serve them poo nanny? I, uh, she's, she's pretty. Wow. This is not the kind of place. Bro, Diesel will be in heaven right now. Look at her grippers are out. I want to find a hair in my food. Absolutely. He was so smart, though. He likes men's are visual. I got this. Look at this. Bro. Look how awkward this is. Imagine being her. Imagine being her laying there with raw fish on you and soy sauce and like like four dudes just hovering above you. Um, did you touch my boob a little? Tee hee hee. Lamau. Honey soy vinaigrette on the right hand side. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is an okay, ah. raw style. Gordon, Gordon dropped that on purpose. It's definitely awkward <laughs> mid season. I usually skip this part. Hefner's breakfast. Oh, he's feeding her sushi. Oh, for dessert. No, help, help. What's for dessert? No. Gordon, you dog. I've seen this on Corn Hub. You be in heaven. Stop lying. I'm, I'm down with this, bro. I'm fucking. I fucking want this. I want to eat. If, if, like I said, if, if there's any baddies in the chat who want me to eat sushi off of them, come on. I like the sushi. Other day, it's a cooking competition. I have to say no. No. Here's the naked truth three no's. Damn, I feel embarrassed to be both. the girl. Gordon Ramsay ate sushi off of me. <laughs> Damn, bro. Gordon's... Look at him, bro. Gordon's such a chat. Oh, my God. Gordon eats... Oh, my God. Coming up. He bricked up. I am. How are you? Imagine Gordon going for a piece of it. salmon, but it's the labia. Giraffe, I would not want to imagine that. I'm foul after that comment. Like, bro, come on now. Come, come on, my brother. Taste of home. Scottish? Yes. Glasgow? Glasgow? <laughs> uh oh, they got a Scottish person. And Joe. Don't tempt me. Prove it. Winner. Who's the kind of wins yes. competitions like this one? It's getting real on this season of MasterChef. So far, the first day search for America's next MasterChef has seen eight people win an apron and take a place Only in the eight? next stage of the competition. Gordon loves the skulls. After the skull an intense wait, the next contenders have their dreams crushed in seconds. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a no. I'm gonna say no. For me, it's a no. How long have you been in the police force? Five years now. Scallops are cooked perfectly, the rest of the dish lacks, so I'm a no. Just hard to take, but face kind of says it Rip. Aww. Uh, stop cooking. I using grilled don't men know how fry. Far I'll go or how far I'll take it, but. Aww. Poor baby. Today's home cooks have brought flavors from all around the world. He should got his knees and cried. Stop. Is Scotland. Cooking comes from my heart. You know, when I get into my kitchen, it's just me and the ingredients, and we just go for it. <laughs> and we just see what happens. And sometimes it's great, and sometimes it's not. Oh, I'm shit. The worst guy in the world because I eat like this every day. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Chef Ramsay, how are you? I'm very well indeed. How are you? I am. Oh, dude, this is so cool Scottish. seeing seeing Gordon see one of his own. Yes, Glasgow. Uh, Glasgow. Glasgow. I, I know. <laughs> Don't really understand what you're saying, but I guess you guys are paisanos of some sort, right? Damn. <laughs> Lovely accents. Um, Thank you. What are you cooking? I've actually done Scottish salmon and haggis en croute. I made the pastry myself. Haggis en croute. Yes. Haggis? Look at you. You've got posh. En croute? Oh, Chef Ramsay, really? <laughs> oh, Chef Ramsay. Bro, this is... Are they flirting? I can't tell. <laughs> this is so creepy. Have you guys I ever like had it. haggis? Yes. yes. Never had. Yes. It's my first haggis experience. Great. Pauline, just explain to Joe what haggis is, please. Someone I can it's understand. The, the, the Scots. It's kidney. And it's boiled in the lining of the sheets. Yeah, they're flirting. Stomach. Delicious. I once heard somewhere that all Scottish food was based on a dare. Like, I dare you to eat that. <laughs> So really? we'll, let's Damn! See. Let's see. <laughs> so is this what it's supposed to look like? This is what it's supposed to look like, yeah. And that's the haggis? That's the, the haggis. Just like that, right? Yeah. Don't be scared, Joe. Put hairs on your chest. Yeah. I would try haggis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on. Cheers, it's not for the faint hearted. <laughs> this is the sauce. It doesn't look too bad. I think it looks pretty good. It kind of looks like yeah, a shepherd's that pie. Flavor. That's great. Another girl bag. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Gabby's not Scottish. <laughs> Chef Ramsay, honestly, defies belief you're touching my food, Julie. That's brave. From to LA. Haggis to LA. I know. I mean, that. Dish. Oh, she's the cry. It makes me feel homesick. Oh, does it? Yes, it does. I touch a Scotland just for you. Does it need to go with salmon? No. It probably doesn't. You're crazy. I am. Oh, they're what having a moment, a countryman doing? moment. Lol, aw. OK, Joe, yes or no? I, I like you. I like your apron. <laughs> I like your accent. Thank you. I don't <laughs> like the dish. You do it. Aw. That's OK. No. I like Scottish people. I just don't like that dish. What do you want me to tell you? Yeah, that dish would probably be hard for Very most people to like. Work. The haggis, it's nice and moist inside the salmon, which was nice and moist inside the pastry. So, okay. uh, I'm a yes. Uh-oh. Okay. Don't take this personally, because I think you're amazing. But for me, it's a no. Damn! She only got Graham and didn't get fucking Gordon? No, Giraffe, he said no. Oh, I am a cry. To that apron, because I want you to put this one on. Oh. <laughs> Fucking Gordo. Well done. This the bitch. Of Scotland. Yes! I'll never let you down. Come I'll on! Oh, why would he Show debate us like yet. that? Thank you. <laughs> the connection was fake. Never mind. Jabated. But we had jabated hard. Real hard. For Chef Ramsay to taste my food. I'm like winning. The Super Bowl. Yeah. They're always us for clout. That's delicious, though. They they, they trick us so they can get clips for views. Coming up. The dish is more confident than you are. The bro, that guy put everything on the line. The people who are always always j joshing us, always messing with us. Today's search for America's next master chef is drawing to a close. The final amateur cook is counting on his hometown flavors to snag him an apron. Yes! Oh, My shit. Collins. I'm from Gloucester, Massachusetts. I like this guy. He seems real. And I'm a stay-at-home dad. You are invited I'm going to cheer for the Scottish lady. For the judges, Master Chef in LA. Hello. Okay, this is pretty cool. Wait, why does he have a camera crew when he gets his letter and no one else did? I have a nine-year-old son at home. 11-month-old little girl. Her name's Adelia. Aww. And uh, one on the way. How cute. Dude, look at this. This is an old, old-fashioned guy. I worked in restaurants going up for a little while. Typical dishwasher. I kind of veered off of that, just being a teenager, just figuring out life, doing drugs, kind of hit rock bottom. Hell yeah, drugs. For my son. Seems rigged. To a point where you do wake up one day and realize that that wasn't the man that you wanted to be. Want to know. My son was about three and a half when I turned my life around and came back, got custody of him, and then realized this was my passion and came back to it. Chewy, but awesome. It's lobster. I had to fight through a lot of things in my life, and I'm gonna fight through this competition and win it because it's gonna change my life. Forever. Hell yeah! Give me some love! Come on! Hell yeah! Woo! Hopefully he doesn't fuck up. Nah, fuck snow. I hate the snow. Oh shit! This guy, why are they so serious about this one dude? The fuck? How you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Very good. Where are you from, buddy? I'm from Gloucester, Massachusetts. Oldest fishing port in the country. What are you cooking? It's basically a chipino. Uh, I like to call it a shipwreck sea stew for my son. What's the secret behind this stew? Start with a little uh, onion and pepper, some uh, white wine. Garlic, Looks pretty tomatoes, good. Tomatoes, clam yeah. juice. You think he wins the whole thing? I have no cooking idea. My son. But you feed this to the kids? Yes. Let's go. I don't know how I feel about stuff like this. I don't like mussels, the way they go to his house. I don't know. I don't like mussels or clams. What about you, Gabby? You like mussels or clams? So, let's hope the uh, shipwreck stew is not your culinary titanic. <laughs> Death. Wait, why? Snow's nice, look at it. Yeah, I don't like snow at all, Joe. I mean, it looks interesting. 
You look very nervous. I've never wanted anything more in my life. <laughs> Damn, not even kids? Oh, he's getting another bite. That's that's good, I think. He wins. That's good. That is like you. It's intense and it's packed full of flavor. Good job. Thank you. Really oh good shit! Job. Thank you very the much. The backstory. Delicious. Thank you. It's very tough. His second to this end. Wow. Jesus Christ! Yeah, he's like he's like I forgot. You know, he's Gordon's like. Well, here's the thing. We have a special surprise for you. You get custody of your children on an apron. Some clams look like a clit. Rain, you are you you are something else. The dish is more confident than you are. You should sing like that dish sings. Damn, it's that good. Sure. For me, definitely yes. That's the kind of dish let's go that competitions like this one. Mm -hmm. Graham. Yeah, I think that uh, the dish speaks for itself. For me, I'm a yes. Put this on. Go out and intimidate him. Wow. Let's go. Right, Good job. Don't let us down, bro. I will not. Well done. Thank you very much. Yes. So want to dive in that. Juice is just because he has hit. Mm -hmm. Come Absolutely. on, don't throw Joe under the bus. <laughs> you hate my man, Joe. He could win Master Chef. He really could. Damn. He said, bro. Gordon said he could win Master Chef. He said he really could off one meal. Dream, and it's happening. Oh, man. Next time on MasterChef. I'm going medieval on their asses. The search for I'm the going medieval on their asses. Best Home Cook in America continues. What's up, Lulu? Delicious. With the best. Fireworks! You're what this competition's all about. And the Dude, rest. is no joke. I don't like him? Really? What didn't you like about him? Like a f***ing dunk chick. I think we got a fumble here. Please. A son squares off against his own mother. Prepare nice, Lulu. To be taken down by your mama. And white hot rage. Security. White hot rage? Get it? Because he's white and sexy. It's all on the journey. His tragic backgrounds. He's the underdog and want him to win. Dude, those these shows always kind of do like pioneer like a favorite to find for America's you. Next, Master Chef. All right, if you watch this on YouTube, I appreciate you watching it. Make sure you like and subscribe and enjoy my other content. Well, you're a pussy. Do it right fucking now. You just wasted an hour watching Master Chef with me. Subscribe, like, comment below. Say bye to YouTube chat. Goodbye.